good YouTube, it's RJ and we are back today with the Nike Offline. They call it a mule. Let's dive in, see what it's all about. Let's go. Alright, so first things first, I'm waiting on a new microphone. It is yet to arrive, I'm not sure when it's coming. Hopefully soon. So I do apologize because we are running directly off camera audio for this one as I thought the new microphone would be here, got rid of the old one, and here I am in a bit of a debacle. Nonetheless though, we've got the Nike offline. This thing is gaining a ton of traction. It, it's Everybody's wearing them. It's the perfect, I was going to say it's the perfect pandemic shoe, but that's not, I, I'm not going to go with that. It's just the perfect at home, leisurely, comfortable, stylish slipper, you know, to throw on around the house, wear on some errands, whatever the case is. I had to get a pair. When I saw these, I was like, that that literally just, they're just doper than like any slide that I've seen recently. There's a little bit of inspiration from Virgil, I think a little bit from Jerry, Ablo, Lorenzo, you know who I'm talking about. Nonetheless though, I wanted to get a pair. I wanted to share them with you guys and they're finally in. I'm super stoked. I've worn them for the last four hours. I wanted to get a video up ASAP because I knew if I didn't do it today, it wouldn't get done. So here they are, the Nike Offline. I went with the Anthracite colorway, almost black. I think the, I think the darkest pair that's dropped thus far, I was just taking a look. They've got white, olive green, and then almost like a, like a pinkish color, but had to grab these. You got the electric orange hits pink insole, I'll talk about the insoles in just a minute. And here they are in all their glory. I love them. I'm in love with the shoe. It's like, it's, I haven't had anything recently that I've been this excited about, especially from Nike. So here they are, once again, your Nike offline, referred to as a mule. I'm gonna say it's a it's a combo of like a moccasin, uh, a slide, and, and just your everyday slipper with like an actual midsole, outsole sneaker bottom if you will so first things first we always dive into the upper and i'm going to break it down to the absolute best of my ability give you guys a little bit of b-roll all the way through and then uh at the end of the video as always i will throw them on feet so stay tuned for that before we go any further hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below say what's up or if you have any questions let me know what's good so first things first at the very bottom toe box area you've got a really thin mesh material and you can kind of get like uh what do they call it? almost like those toe knuckles they poke through so you will see your toes through there it's very very thin and then you got that nice nike swoosh obviously in the electric orange now coming up from there we do have an actual strap that thing is very useful it does snug up on your foot quite a bit if they are a little loose. Now, I just was getting done talking to somebody about this. I typically have overall a pretty narrow skinny foot. So when I say true to size, take it with a grain of salt. I like my shoes to fit very well. So we'll talk about sizing in a minute, but I just needed to throw that out there. So with these straps, I was able to snug up the shoe just a bit and they feel phenomenal. Now, right under there, you've got a quilted nylon strap super dope lockdown especially since it is mostly a slip on with a very low back it, it works so that was the overall design dude a plus a plus so strap that back on obviously you got some you got some tougher nylon materials up top just to keep the thing you know just to just to add a little aesthetic as well as lock that strap make sure that strap's not ripping tearing any of that stuff down the line obviously the mesh works its way underneath the strap it goes all the way up around the shoe, runs all the way along the back, what would be the panel, and then you've got a tiny little pull tab right there. Look how cute that thing is. Tiny little tab right there. And then you got a Nike swoosh on the bottom right there. We'll talk about those gum outsoles. You know I love gum. So other than that, we come up to the tongue and you got a super, super thick tongue. Obviously, when I say it's got those Virgil Ablo hits, those off-white hits, Virgil was like the guy that, it, not the first one to do an exposed foam tongue, but you can't really give credit to anybody else these days. So you've got an exposed foam tongue right there. Also nylon along the top of that. Then you got kind of like a plastic, see-through, transparent little tongue addition right there, little tongue tag. It does have the N354 branding as well as a Nike swoosh right there. We'll get into that a little more in just a second. Flip around, you've got the typical branding, trademarking, all that stuff on the back portion of the tongue. 
Now that we broke down that upper, before we go any further, I will pull these insoles out. Maybe. I'll tell you what, they came out a lot easier before I wore the shoe, so keep that in mind. Now, you've got this super thick insole, insert, whatever you wanna call it, that goes into the sneaker, into the mule. And then you've got these beads all the way across. Now I did a little bit of research. The research that I can find on these are the information. These beads are made to just massage your foot during the day. They're mad comfy. I, I love the shoe, I'm telling you, man. I'm not just hyping this thing up, super comfy. Now, real quick, here's the box. I had to show you the box. N354, just new branding. Might sound a little gimmicky, whatever the situation is, from Nike. But look how, look how big this box is, bro, compared to the shoe. Humongous box. Careful. Anyway, bust this thing open, and then boom, right up top, look at those. You got more insoles. Now I tried to see if there was like a, a differentiation in the softness or the cushiness of the insole. From what I know, there's not. The only difference that I really see is this one has a lot more of those beads on there. So gonna give you a bit more, a bit more of a massage, if you will. And then that little tray comes out of there, exposes everything else that's in there. And last but not least with the box, you got some cool N354 branding right here. It says 354 Champions Nike's Legacy and Experimentation and Innovation. N354 is an unapologetic exploration to push the boundaries of design. N354 is not trend. N354 is not conservative. N354 is not scared. Don't be scared. Anyway, I had to share that with you guys. Back to the shoe. You got a super chunky midsole. A lot of tooling all around. You got the Nike swoosh right there. Tooling all across here, all the way around the back panel. I already showed you that swoosh on the bottom panel. More tooling. I'm gonna say tooling as many times as I can, like a toolbox. And then you come up to the front. Little bit of a toe cap protective area. Make sure you don't smash these things. Put a hole in the mesh and then you finish off right up front with that Nike hit. Boom. Flip on down to the bottom and boy, do I love myself a gum outsole. And that was the real reason I picked up this colorway because I wanted that anthracite black paired with that gum outsole. I wear all my shoes before I do reviews, just so I can bring them to you. There is the bottom in all its glory, a little bit of traction. Make sure you don't slip if you do wear these out for errands, run to the gas station, grab some donuts, whatever the situation is. As you can tell, I've been locked up in quarantine. I've had some donuts. Nonetheless, that is the Nike offline. Now let's head in to pricing. Now hold up, before you go crazy, these are 120 bucks. Kind of crazy, right? Kind of wild. After I got them in hand, I felt I felt them on foot. I saw the work that went into them. It's not crazy. I, I think they're great, man. And I think they should last you a long time, especially if you're using them just around the house. And like I said, out and about real quick, whatever the situation is, go outside watch the kid ride his bike, whatever, you know, I think they should last you a bit. So for 120 bucks, I don't think it's crazy. Now, would 99 have been better? 100%. Did I look if there's any coupons? I did not. I just wanted to get them in hand and I got them now. So I think the price is a little crazy, a little steep. You guys might agree with me, but once you get them in hand, you'll be like, damn, this is a dope sneaker, super innovative, very, very different and unique from what we've seen in the past. And I also mentioned Jerry Lorenzo because Fear of God has dropped a ton of sneakers that have that low back right there, very slip-on style, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, just easily accessible for the foot, slide them in, slide them off, and that's where I said the Jerry inspiration came from. Aside from price, we're gonna get right into comfort. For what it is, something brand new to me, something that I've never ever experienced, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. The only reason I'm docking a point is because I know some of you are gonna feel those beads on your feet and go, this is not comfortable. These just simply do not feel good. They hurt my feet, whatever the situation is. And there's not really an alternative to that. The only thing they gave us was more beads. If they gave us two insoles and one was completely flat and you didn't have to worry about it, 10 out of 10, right? They don't bother me that much, but I know they will bother some people. So keep that in mind. That's the only downfall I can give you on these thus far. Obviously, sizing, uh, I know people hate me for it. They feel great. I'm not gonna say go true to size, but I went true to size. So I wear a 10 and a half, I got a 10 and a half. They feel absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, I got a skinny foot, tighten them up, 
no problems at all. So for me, true to size. If you got a giant fat foot and you wear a 10 and a half, go with an 11. I don't know what else to tell you. I'll hopefully that answers any of those questions. Guys, that is the Nike Offline Mule in the black anthracite with the orange and the pink and the green and the big old box. And that's gonna do it. I will throw these on feet, give you guys a better look at them. I hope I answered all your questions and I hope that helped somebody who's looking into these. If you have any other questions down below in the comment section, do me a quick favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm still here, we're still doing this. Anyways, I'm throwing these on feet, give you guys a look at them. I'll catch y'all in the next one. More Nike, more Adidas, more stuff coming. Anybody else wants a, wants a video made, hit me up, toss me your sneaker, everyone's doing, everyone's doing their own thing, man. I love it, let's go, I'm out, peace.